Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Continuing on the grinder job, I have multiple hacksaws. Therefore, I keep a 32 tooth and an 18 tooth blade and two different saws. A 32 tooth blade is nice for cutting conduit because the walls are very thin. You always want to try and have three teeth in the cut. One leading in, one in the middle, cutting, and then one exiting. But on this fairly thick material, and especially since I'm going to be cutting kind of at a flat angle, the 18 tooth lets me clear chips easier. It'll cut faster. Now you notice I don't put my hand out here to do the cutting. You see guys holding onto a hacksaw like this and really bearing down on it? Really you're not doing it yourself any good. The teeth on the saw should do all the cutting without having to bear down. If you're having to bear down, your blade's shot. Go get a new blade. All you're doing is, is making yourself work like the Dickens. You'll notice that uh, after you're done doing that bear down thing, the teeth are going to all be broken off back here because that's where you're really getting into it. You're overloading the teeth, you're plugging them, they stop cutting, and then uh, they break off. Also the blade will bend. See any of those things? Back off a little bit. Lighten up, use the saw, let the teeth do the work. Now, I hate hacksaws. But I also understand what a hacksaw does. It's not going to cut any faster if you push it. Just like a mule. Got to get its attention first. Now this treadle is pretty worn. The hole is actually triangular shaped because the rod has been wearing away on that beam here for years and it's set out in the rain and rusted too so it's not a very good way to gauge what size the hole should be. But I'm going to do an approximation. Because it really doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot if I'm exactly to the right size. I want to have something that will accept a quarter inch rod and this has to accept a 3 8 rod because that's what the, the pivot for the treadle is. I'm going to take a minute and sharpen this drill bit. doesn't take long and that way I'll have a sharp drill bit when I start. I have sharp drill bits in the box, I have sharp drill bits in the drawer, but I also have dull ones and if I sharpen it one every time I need one, soon I won't have any more dull ones. Good theory, right? They keep coming in broken all the time, so it's just a thing that I do.
here's where I get out the hard working tools. The breast drill. I'm drilling a 5 16 hole through 8 inch steel. It can be done. Set it on high speed. Make sure I oil the gears. And it's just a matter of leaning into the work. A good sharp bit. I don't have to lean into it a whole lot. I just have to keep the bit into the steel and cutting. And it's not very hard to turn the handle, even though I've got it set for high speed. If I was drilling a larger diameter hole, if I was drilling a larger diameter hole, I could gain some leverage by loosening up that screw and sliding the handle out. And increase the leverage on the handle so that I could turn the handle easier. points breaking through. And there we have a hole drilled. Didn't take a lot of work. Main thing is, let the tool do the work. Good sharp tool and the right leverage goes pretty well. Now put a little oil on the tip on this one, we'll see if it makes a difference. Same size hole, same piece of steel. breaking through. I 
and I'm into that weld, so it's a little harder. Let's turn this around and go into a lower gear. See if I can develop some more power on it. bit spinning in the chuck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this thing loose. Yeah, that's going to take some work. Didn't have enough grip on the shank. Drill bit was spinning in the chuck. Very hard to get out of there. I have the holes drilled and the drill is back up on the rack. So that part of it's done. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.